Tennessee State Route 61. State Route 61 SR61 is a west to east highway in the U.S. state of Tennessee that is 81.67 mile long 131.44 km. State Route 61 begins in Roan County and it ends in Granger County. Route Description Roan County SR61 begins in Roan County as a primary highway in the city of Rockwood at an intersection with US 27 slash US 70 slash SR 29 slash SR 1. It begins concurrent with US 27 as its companion route though it is signed, except on Imminus 40. They then proceed north as a four-lane divided highway and have a junction with the short SR 382 providing access to Roan State Community College and cross into Harriman. US 27-SR61 continue north to have an interchange with Imminus 40 exit 347 with only US 27 signed and enter the South Harriman neighborhood. US 27-SR61 continue through Harriman's main business district and again intersect and have an unsigned concurrency with SR29 U.S. 27's main companion route. They then cross the Emory River and enter downtown Harriman as Roan Street. They continue through downtown, still as a four-lane, and junction with SR 328, a loop route through the town of Oakdale. The highway leaves downtown as a four-lane divide highway and go by the Harriman campus of Tennessee College of Applied Technology, TGET, and exit Harriman. US 27 and SR 61 then split at an interchange with SR 29 following US 27 as its companion route. SR 61 turns east alone as two lane rural highway. SR 61 then intersects SR 327 in the community of Blair. It then enters the community of Kellatown before entering the city of Oliver Springs. The highway widens into a four lane highway with a center turn lane. SR61 then comes to an intersection with SR62, which is the main highway in and out of Morgan County, and SR330, which provides access to downtown and becomes concurrent with SR62 north of downtown. SR61 slash SR62 then bypass downtown to the north and east as a four-lane divided highway with partially controlled access and crosses into Anderson County. Anderson County. They then have a partial interchange with Main Street and enter Oliver Springs Main Business District. Continuing southeast, they then separate with SR62 heading into Oak Ridge and SR61 becoming a secondary highway as it goes toward Clinton as a two-lane rural highway. It goes through some farmland in the communities of Batley and Marlow on a nearly four mile long 6.4 km straightaway before becoming slightly curvy before coming to an intersection with SR95. It then turns east again, becoming a primary highway, as a four lane undivided highway running along the banks of the Clinch River. SR61 then enters the city of Clinton and junctions with US 25W slash SR9. The highway continues on through downtown and becomes a four-lane divided highway and crosses the Clinch River. SR61 now has an interchange with Imminus 75 exit 122, leaving Clinton and becoming a secondary highway. It then passes through the community of Bethel, where it passes by the Museum of Appalachia, before entering Norris and having an intersection and short concurrency with US 441-SR71. The highway now leaves Norris, and becomes a two-lane rural highway. SR61 then goes through the community of Andersonville before becoming extremely curvy and narrow and enters Union County. Union County. It then runs alongside Norris Lake for a few miles and passes Big Ridge State Park before intersecting with SR170 in New Loyston. The highway junctions and becomes concurrent with SR33 in Paulette and the two highways enter Maynardville as a two-lane rural highway. In Maynardville, it becomes a four-lane undivided highway and intersects with SR 144. They then leave Maynardville and revert to a two-lane rural highway. 
SR33 and SR61 then separate and SR61 becomes curvy once again and intersects SR370 before entering Luttrell and having an intersection and short concurrency we Knox and Granger counties. It then shortly crosses into Knox County and intersects with SR331 near Carrollton before crossing into Granger County. The highway then enters Blaine and comes to an end at an intersection with US 11W slash SR1 ending as a secondary highway. Harvey H. Hannah Memorial Highway Along the highway from Harriman to Oliver Springs, Highway 61 is called the Harvey H. Hannah Highway. Harvey H. Hannah of Oliver Springs was the Tennessee chairman of the State Railroad and Public Utilities Commission for 30 years. He served in the Spanish-American War, becoming colonel of the 4th Tennessee Volunteers. He also became a military governor of a Cuban province. Cordell Hall, who became United States Secretary of State, served as a captain under Hannah. Besides being a lawyer, military officer, and politician, he was well known as a great orator. He served as adjutant general under two Tennessee governors from 1903 to 1907. This was where he acquired the title general. In 1922, General Han was a candidate for governor in the Democratic primary but was defeated by Austin P., who became governor. On November 8, 1936, Hannah died from a throat condition. Governor Hill McAllister visited Hannah before his death and asked, Harvey, is there anything that I can do for you? He replied, Hill, I know that money is hard to get, but I hope that you will find enough state money to finish the Oliver Springs Harriman Highway. The governor obtained the money, and the highway was named in Hannah's honor. Hannah is buried in the Oliver Springs Cemetery, and his tombstone is said to be the tallest monument in the Oliver Springs area. Major intersections, sections, 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 